Oh, we've had a late withdrawal. Chris Rawlinson not going, but it's still a very, very strong field here. James Carter, one of three very good Americans in the field. He's not going to the World Championships. He's fourth in their trials. Well, Matt Douglas was second in our trials. He's not been picked for the World Championships, but will be going to the World Student Games just after Paris. Well, the man who's stepped into Rawlinson's shoes is Kamel Thompson. What a replacement. He's number three in the world this year and trains with Rawlinson up at Loughborough University. Joey Woody is going in the American team. He finished third in their trials. One of the best in the world. Well, the Olympic champion, Angelo Taylor, has been suffering with injury. He's missed out on selection for Paris. Looking to show, though, that he's still in good form. Coming back to his best form. Commonwealth Games bronze medalist Ian Wigley of Jamaica goes in lane six. And the last chance for Anthony Barsamozo and indeed Matt Douglas to get the qualifying time for Paris. He's in lane seven. And on the outside from South Africa, the former world junior bronze medalist, Ockert Silias. Personal best, 48-61 set this year. He's in lane eight. Well, the top man in the world is, of course, Felix Sanchez, and he will be a red-hot favorite to win the title in Paris. But a couple of men in this field, particularly Joey Woody there, you're looking at, certainly in with a chance of picking up a medal. Kamel Thompson, also of Jamaica, in lane three, has been in very good form this year. He said that he trains with Rawlinson, and indeed Ewan Thomas up at Loughborough University, where he's studying. And Rawlinson, we're told, tweaked the groin on Wednesday night. Was not able to compete here at Crystal Palace, but we hope that he'll still be fit enough to go to the World Championships. Rawlinson, of course, a real medal prospect for Great Britain. And let's face it, we don't have too many in Paris. So Carter, then Douglas in two, Thompson three, Woody four, Taylor five, Weekly six, Borsamato seven, Silias in eight. Taylor. Taylor's going to have some work to do around that top end. You'll see Woody alongside him now. Borsamato going well out in lane seven, trying to run down Silius from South Africa. But it's Thompson and Woody leading it. Lane three and four as they come towards the home straight. Thompson, perhaps with a half a meter or so advantage, but he's in the lead in the yellow. Thompson, he's only got one hurdle to go now. Woody starting to fade. Angela Taylor, absolutely nowhere. But it's Thompson coming away. The man who stepped in as a late replacement. Kamel Thompson streaking away for a quick time as well. 48.05. Well, that's a personal best again for this man from Jamaica. And I tell you what, he has written himself into, well, certainly in with a medal chance at the World Championships. I said that he's training with Rawlinson and he's now he's surpassed Rawlinson's time on the world list. And that is very, very good performance by Thompson. And only Felix Sanchez has run faster than that. Well, Steve, he's come to his very best at the age of uh, 28 as uh, Carol Thompson. The Jamaican ran very well off the hurdle. In fact, Matt Douglas had a real chance here. He was going well to about 300 metres from lane two and then lost his form completely. Borsamato, second from the left in the seventh lane, could be close to the qualification of 49.20. We'll have to see that. Woody clearly in second, weakly in third. And that was a relaxed looking Colonel Thompson. 48-24 is best. Looked good all the way around, really. Went off quite well. Woody went off perhaps too quickly and paid a little bit in the final stages. But really, at this stage, looking very, very good indeed. We'll check on the time in the moment. Weekly it was that got the third place. Now, from the front, Woody in the light blue went off very quickly. It was leading to 200 metres. Actually, uh, Matt Douglas went off very quickly as well, and he really is suffering. It's unfortunate, really, a real chance for him. Borsamato on the outside, looking very, very useful. Look at, uh, on the right there, Douglas stumbling off that hurdle. But no question about the winner. Thompson looks so relaxed. Look at that. Little look at the clock. A personal best is the evidence. 
just outside 48 seconds. Great run. How did I do that? In this? <laughs> Look at that. Well, there's the result. Second fastest in the world this year, Thompson. And Borsomato, 49.28, eight one hundredths outside the qualification time needed to go to the World Championships. Well, Sally Gunnell.